Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on suspension cables. Let us read the question and draw the diagram. A suspension cable 80 meter span and 12 meter deep is defined with a two hinged girder. The girder carries a dead load of 10 kN per meter over the entire span and a concentrated load of 600 kN at 50 meter from the left support. Determine the maximum tension in the cable and the shear force and bending movement at a section 35 meter from the left support. Let us find the vertical reaction VD. For that, let us take a moment about F. VD is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 80. So 80 VD. This load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 80. The point load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it is also negative and the distance is 30. Finally for VD we will get 6 to 5 kN. To find VF we have to subtract VD by the total load. For the uniformly distributed load the distance is 80. So 10 into 80 and then we have a concentrated load 600. When we add these two we will get the total load. The total load minus VD we will get VF. Now let us find the equivalent uniformly distributed load WE. For that we have to divide the total load by the span which is 80. For WE we will get 17.5 kN per meter. Now in the cable let us find the vertical reactions VA and VB. We can use the formula WE L upon 2. WE is 17.5 and L is 80. For VA and VB we will get 700 kN. In the cable the vertical reactions are acting upwards but in the girder they will be acting downwards. Now in the cable let us find the horizontal reactions. We can use the formula WE L square upon 8H. WE is 17.5, L is 80 and H is 12. For H we will get 3500 upon 3 kN. Now let us find the shear force at 35 meter from the left side. Let us keep the point as G. This reaction is acting upwards so that it will be positive. This is acting downwards so it will be negative. The equivalent uniformly distributed load is acting upwards so that it is positive and the distance is 35. This uniformly distributed load is acting downwards so it will be negative and the distance is 35. Finally for the shear force we will get 187.5 kN. Now let us find the bending moment at 35 meter from the left. This reaction is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 35. This reaction is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 35. The equivalent uniformly distributed load is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 35. This uniformly distributed load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so it will be negative and the distance is 35. For the movement in the point G, we will get 1968.75 kN meter. Now let us find the maximum tension. We know the formula to find that root of V square plus H square. Let us apply both of them. Finally for T max, we will get 1360.55 kN. 
now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video